In a corner of the school that is rarely passed by students or teachers, three delinquent high school boys have finished reading a webtoon on their leader's cell phone. He feels bored with the current webtoon because the theme given is always monotonous and boring. The story is always about a geeky, bullied man suddenly becomes strong and beat up those who hurted him. The three of them believe that nowadays, there is no more bullying as told in the webtoon. Meanwhile, Kim So Hyun, who became the main character of this webtoon, was ordered to keep them from being noticed by the teachers while they relax and smoke. Ironically, those who said there is no bullying at school actually bullied Kim So Hyun and robbed his money. Of course, Kim So Hyun, who is very introverted, can only obey those who bully him. Kim So Hyun only hopes that there is someone who can stop all this bullying. He regretted his weakness and inability to fight his bullies. Then he remembered a webtoon that is currently trending, where the main character can become stronger because he completed quests and receive EXP points just like in a game. As the story progresses, the main character is able to upgrade himself and become stronger. So Yun hopes he can do the same. He wished that his fate is the same as that main character. Desperate, hoping to have the same fate as the main character of the webtoon, he tries to summon Quest Windows. He kept screaming out Quest Windows for dozens of times until his throat hurt. But of course, nothing happened. Hopeless. So Yun sat down limply. He knows he is not a character in a web novel or webtoon. He also understands that such a thing is impossible to happen in the real world. However, suddenly, a system quest window appeared before his eyes. This quest windows was like a hologram appearing in midair. On its monitor, there's a single question. Do you want to start the quest? Kim. So Hyun was surprised to see this. He didn't expect such a thing can suddenly happen to him. Then, the scene changed as Kim So Hyun returned his class. He sat down in his seat and he began to think that the common high school students were divided into two types the popular kids and the loners. If they are active and outgoing enough, then they are the popular kids. But if they are shy and introverted, then they are the loners. These two words replace the actual truthful terms these people are known for, the bullies and the losers. These changes is advantageous for Kim So Hyun as he would rather be called a loner than a loser. He called up the quest windows, then a mission window suddenly popped up and said, Do you want to start the quest? Previously, So Hyun had repeatedly closed and opened the windows during class lessons. He had done it at least 300 times. The thing that made him hesitate was because it was so, so illogical. When So Hyun decided to accept the quest and press yes on the windows screen, because this is a hologram, he instead pressed a girl's belly. The girl named Baek Cheren considers this a sexual harassment. So Hyun wanted to explain that he only wanted to touch the quest windows, but before he can explain it, So Hyun was slapped by Cheren who said that So Hyun is a creepy nerd. Cheren continued to said feet are beautiful, and thanks to these feats, she has 20,000 followers on Insta. So if she falls on the way to the canteen and injured her leg, then it's Seo Hyun's responsibility. Thus, Cheren told So Hyun to buy food for her. Because he didn't want to complicate matters, So Hyun complied. He wanted to ask Cheren for the money, but Cheren said she was crazy and thought she didn't want to give him money, pointing at her feet. When he was on his way to the cafeteria, Chang Dong suddenly hit So Hyun's neck with his arm while saying, Stop bullying at school. It's very strange people who bully actually say to stop bullying. Inside his heart, So Hyun promised to himself that he will unmask them all, including Cheren. So Hyun looked at Chang Dong sharply because he felt very annoyed. But Chang Dong also stared back at Seo Hyun with a very scary look. Out of fear, So Hyun instead apologized. As soon as he arrived home, So Hyun asked his mother to move him into a different school with loud and fiery tone, but his mother did not allow it. Actually, So Hyun felt guilty towards his mother, because only to his mother could he use a loud tone. He didn't dare stand up to the naughty kids at school, but he can yell at his mother very loudly. Thus, So Hyun said that he would rather quit school than study there and start his career as a new tuber. So Hyun's younger sister named Kim Da Hyun laughed and mocked her cowardly brother. Because his wish was not obeyed, So Hyun went to his room and shutting his bedroom door loudly, which made his mother angry. When he was lying on his bed, he felt his life was not worth it.
Pondering about his sad existence, So Hyun reopened the quest windows and pressed, Yes. After that, the windows displays the contents that said, If you start the quest, you will get a card as a reward. Then, the quest tutorial begins, where he is told to apologize to his mother, and the prize is one gold card. Because there was gold in the prize, So Hyun thought it could be sold. Then the quest windows popped up a message containing the types of cards he could get as a reward. There's bronze, silver, gold, and actually there's more, but So Hyun doesn't care. The thing he was questioning, can gold cards be sold? So Hyun then made up his mind, and then went to apologize to his mother. Seeing his brother apologizing like that, Da Hyun thought her brother went crazy, and she proposed to take So Hyun to a mental hospital. After apologizing, the quest windows issued a notification. You have completed the tutorial quest and got a gold card as a special reward for completing the tutorial quest. Seo Hyun returned to his room. He was still wondering. If she got a gold card, it can be sold for 10,000 won. He also tried to look at the cards. Then a review order for a gold card window appeared in front of him. This gold card functions to increase the user's height by 3 centimeters with a note. After use, the card will disappear. Do you want to use this card? So Hyun chose to use it. After that, he returned to the living room where his mother and sister were, shouting with joy as he said, Mother, my height has increased by three centimeters. Meanwhile, Da Hyun thought her brother was crazy. So Hyun was excited as he further explained that he was previously 168 centimeters and now he's 171 centimeters. However, his mother didn't take this seriously and only apologized for being angry at him before. Hearing this made So Hyun realize that his mother apologized to him because this was the first time he apologized to his mother. Even though at school he often apologized to his bullies, no one turned to apologize to him. Because of this, he felt very warm and happy. The next day at school, So Hyun is happy with his growing height. People gossip about how tall he is, hearing that he became even more happy but he wondered why the windows didn't show up today. Suddenly, a new quest appeared. The reward was one silver card and one gold card. The current reward was even better than before, so Hyun was excited because he thought that the quest would be as easy as yesterday. But the quest turns out to be Kiss Charon with a time limit until after school is over. The quest is still a tutorial-type quest. Shocked by his quest, his shoulder collided with Charon's. Charon was angry and wanted to slap So Yun, but didn't because she had heard that some people like to be slapped. Charon left while cursing obscene human. Meanwhile, So Yun felt this was an impossible mission and wanted to give up on this mission. But a warning notification pops up from Windows, stating that if So Hyun gives up on a mission, all the prizes he received will be taken again and the quest windows will never appear again forever. Because he didn't want his height to shrink anymore, so Hyun was determined to complete this mission. Even though he previously had the determination, until now, he still has not found a way out. The words kiss kept coming out of his mouth. Suddenly a voice sounded, Do you want to be kissed? From beside him, So Hyun immediately felt it was from Charin. But it turned out that the voice was from So Hyun's classmate who looked very old and looked like a Yakuza. The Yakuza offered to kiss him if So Hyun didn't mind him with a serious expression that could make anyone scared just by looking at his face. So Hyun was surprised to see the Yakuza's face covered in wounds. Turns out he just got beat up by a bully. Then the Yakuza asked why So Hyun kept saying kiss kiss, and So Hyun said, let's just say I got a mission to kiss a woman. Then So Hyun asked the Yakuza's opinion about it. According to the Yakuza, he would tell the truth and ask the girl directly. To So Hyun, the suggestion was considered hopeless. For Seo Hyun, he would never be able to ask Charon to kiss him directly. The Yakuza give another suggestion. Why not pay for a kiss? Felt the suggestion was satisfactory, but it could not be carried out because both of them had little money. After that, this time the Yakuza gave reasonable advice where to look for opportunities to be alone with the woman in question. Looking for an opportunity to be alone with Charon? So Hyun, who knew Charon had never attended sports lessons, she also skipped classes at that time on the grounds that she wasn't feeling well. During gym class, as expected, Charon stayed in class. 
Charen Yang woke up from sleep, saw Seo Hyun, who was also in class. He mocked Seo Hyun and asked to buy strawberry milk. It turned out that So Hyun had prepared it and placed it on Charen's table. Charen thinks Seo Hyun is loyal. When Charen wanted to drink it, So Hyun suddenly took her strawberry milk and drank it first. After that, say, have you ever kissed anyone? Previously, Charen was angry, but So Hyun immediately said he was joking and was just curious. Meanwhile, So Hyun's earlier words were apparently recorded by So Hyun's gang of bullies. They laughed while mocking So Hyun, who they thought liked Charen. So Hyun asked to delete the video, but Chang Dong said it was funny. So Hyun Pun asked to delete it in a louder tone. That made Chang Dong punch So Hyun right in the face and said, All of this was just a joke. He hits So Hyun again, this time slapping her on the cheek, saying, We want to be close to you. When he wanted to slap So Hyun hard, it was stopped by Charen, and Charen also ordered to delete the video too. Chang Dong strangely followed Charen's words. After that, he asked Charen permission to go smoke. It turns out that they didn't actually record them. They just wanted to bully Seo Hyun. Then Charen saw Seo Hyun, who was sad. She also asked Seo Hyun to just go home instead of being beaten more than this. When she got home, Seo Hyun cried because her mission had not been completed and felt that going to school today would only bring bad luck. Besides, his broken glasses made him think about what reason he should tell his mother. So Hyun feels that her mission has failed and she will return to 168 centimeters. He was lying face up. His vision was now blurry because he didn't wear glasses. Suddenly a notification from the Windows Quest appears notifying the mission was successful. It turned out that it was because Charon touched the straw used with her mouth and Charon realized when she touched it. With the success of this quest, so Hyun got one gold and silver card each. Then he opened both cards. The gold card functions so that he can see. After using the card, the vision that was blurry is now clear. So Hyun instantly happy. Then So Hyun opened her silver card. She was surprised and felt this silver card was too good. So Hyun came out of the room and shouted, My eyes are healthy. But only Da Hyun was there. He told her to be quiet and eat quietly. Da Hyun told their mother they would be late coming home because of the night shift. After that, he taunted his brother. Seeing his brother's bruised face, he knew that his brother had just been punched, and he also asked what happened to his glasses. Seo Hyun shared that her eyesight had improved, and after that told Da Hyun to stop asking about it. The next day at school, he was again taught by Chan Dong. He wonders why So Hyun still goes to school after yelling at him yesterday. Chang Dong's friends also thought that maybe So Hyun didn't feel like trash, because you can't allow this, so he returned to teaching So Hyun brutally. On the other hand, So Hyun's classmates could only look down and see, but because the bell was about to ring, they asked them to come out. Before leaving, he told So Hyun to meet him this afternoon. So Hyun returned to her seat. Yakuza apologized to Seo Hyun for not being able to help her. But that doesn't matter to So Hyun. Besides that, they have made an agreement where if one of them is taught, the other cannot interfere. It's an unwritten rule for bullies, and it applies to this school as well. So Hyun was so sorry, he shouldn't have asked about kissing Charon. Then he bowed his head to the table with the excuse that he wanted to sleep. But actually, So Hyun lamented her life while crying. After class was over, So Hyun went to Chan Dong to apologize. Chang Dong felt strange. I hit. Why are you the one apologizing? While slapping Su Hyun back, he dropped his cigarette and told So Hyun to pick it up. While picking it up, Da Hyun happened to pass by and asked what you were doing. So Hyun could not explain it. Chan Dong also asked, Who is he? He is my sister, answered So Hyun. I don't know why Chan Dong's girl became soft in front of him. He explains that this is a misunderstanding and he is the one who actually smokes. So Hyun tries to take it so that he and So Hyun don't get in trouble. Seo Hyun also confirmed it. After that, Chan Dong and So Hyun left. But because he felt he had saved So Hyun, he asked So Hyun to talk about his sister. When he got to the toilet, Su Hyun told him that he was not close to his sister. Plus, his sister told him not to talk to him at school. But Chang Dong didn't care, and instead asked to be introduced to her, while holding Seo Hyun's arm with his dirty hands after urinating. So Hyun rejects him by reasoning that his sister is the worst. But Chandong didn't care, and said Da Hyun looked delicious.
Seo Hyun looked like she was going to get angry. When she was about to ask, suddenly the Yakuza, who was still wearing shorts, opened the toilet door and said Chandong's words were too much. Chandong instantly punched the Yakuza and beat him to the punch. Meanwhile, So Hyun called Chandong and said, Hi, you trash. Chandong got angry and walked towards So Hyun and tried to punch him. Unexpectedly, So Hyun managed to punch him right in the face. It turns out that the silver card he got earlier functions to be able to jab, which has a vulnerable level from 0 to 100. After landing one hit, a Windows quest reappears. This time, a new mission has been made, in which So Hyun has to defeat Chandong. The prize is one silver card and one bronze card. He then said he would teach Chandong how to really enjoy, with a serious expression and a ready-to-fight stance. Chandong, who hasn't fallen with just one punch, finds this interesting like a drama. So Hyun was a little hesitant to see Chandong, who had a serious expression. Chandong wanted to throw a punch, but Shoyun came back quickly to jab him in the face. Chandong was shocked by that, feeling that So Hyun had secretly learned boxing. Angry with all this, Chandong again swinging his fist at So Hyun, again right in the face of Chandong. Not just once, So Hyun punched Chandong many times. Yakuza saw that was shocked. Meanwhile, So Hyun's fists hit Chandong and he fainted. So Hyun sat on the fainted Chandong. With this, the quest to beat Chandong was successful, plus proficiency with the jab has increased. Seeing Chandong knocked out by So Hyun made the Yakuza feel like there was trouble. Therefore, he asked So Hyun to leave there. After running from the toilet, they got to the back of the school building to hide. The reason why Chandong is called terrible is because he acts in groups. With this defeat, his group will make a mess at school. Then the Yakuza asked when So Hyun learned boxing. So Hyun made excuses that she only learned from YouTube. So Hyun remembered the so-called proficiency increase on Quest Windows when she was doing a quest. It turned out that her jab skill status was now rank F, with a point increase of 97 100 points. Wonders. What would happen if his points were 100? When he said he wanted to check the prizes, the Yakuza overheard him and asked what was that prize. With a serious expression, Seo Hyun also reasoned, he spoke alone. When he saw the gift card, So Hyun was surprised by the gift. Suddenly, Cheren and her friend came to see Seo Hyun So Hyun, thinking Cheren was looking for her to take her to the Changdong gang. But no Cheren said that the kids were looking for So Hyun. So she asked So Hyun to just go home and she would pretend she didn't see Seo Hyun. Long story short, Seo Hyun was caught by Chen Dong's group and made it to their class. They found it funny that Chan Dong could be knocked unconscious by a geek's punch. The Yakuza wanted to stop them, but he was immediately punched in the face. Meanwhile, So Hyun's classmates could only watch in fear. On the other hand, So Hyun thinks what should hit them quickly and leave after. The leader of Gang High School is said to be a monster who ruled Class 3 with his fists right after entering the school, while thinking that it turns out that Gohan came earlier. Their accomplice said, Who was the man who hit Changdong? While laughing out of disbelief but with a sharp gaze made him silent. Changdong also showed himself. After that, he asked So Hyun, Is it true that you hit him? So Hyun, who bowed down, asked Rote to hold his head up. And So Hyun said he was the one who hit. Hajun asked why So Hyun, he insulted my family first, answered So Hyun. Hajun So said you did well, and asked Seo Hyun to hit him too. If it felt appropriate, then Hajun promised to go because he had no other choice. So Hyun will do it before that. He remembers the previous two gift cards. The silver card is a recovery bean which functions to restore stamina, can be used once a day while the high-pitched brown card can emit a high-pitched sound. So Hyun felt that buying peanuts later would be useful while he gave the order to punch him. Immediately returned to attack him repeatedly, but no one hit. When the last attack was about to be launched, Hajun first headed towards Seo Hyun, which made Seo Hyun faint lying on the floor. So Hyun felt she would be finished, but Hajun didn't. Instead, he asked So Hyun to go smoke a cigarette, which made So Hyun dumbfounded. So Hyun was at the Hajun group's hangout. Hajun gave him a cigarette, but So Hyun refused because he doesn't smoke. Right now, So Hyun thinks Hajun is a cruel asshole because after hitting him in class and will finish him in this place and feels the rumors about Hajun being cruel is true. But unexpectedly, he instead apologized because Seo Hyun hit more than he thought. 
so he unknowingly counterattacked. So Hyun was shocked by the apology. Besides that, Ha Jun praised So Hyun's fist. Arriving at home, Su Hyun felt that Ha Jun was hiding something because what he heard was that Ha Jun was a terrible person. But instead, he apologized and praised Seo Hyun. So Hyun was wondering what the quest this time was to defeat Ha Jun. But no new missions appear. Apart from that, the quest is still in the tutorial stage. Then he saw all his gift cards. Everything to do with fighting in class. The next day, Chang Dong came to see Seo Hyun immediately asked Chang Dong's purpose while taking a fighting stance. It turned out that Chang Dong only conveyed a message from Ha Jun saying, See you after school. So Hyun immediately felt he would be finished. Then he asked what he should do to the Yakuza. If you don't come, you better quit school starting tomorrow, said the Yakuza. Having no other choice, So Hyun went to a bar where Ha Jun was hanging out there, complete with liquor and cigarettes. Besides that, the famous people in school were also there, treating her well. Meanwhile, the girls there don't know So Hyun. Then Cheren suddenly came there asking why So Hyun came here. So Hyun replied that he was asked by Ha Jun here. He who saw it immediately said that So Hyun was his new friend and asked him to sing. Actually can't sing, but he had to do it, and he activated the high note card. Unexpectedly, the singing amazed the people there, including Cheren and Ha Jun. He also felt embarrassed because the students there saw him and praised his voice. Knowing that Ha Jun didn't hit her made Seo Hyun feel happy and think the rumors about Ha Jun were fake. Besides that, he is also good. The next day, for the first time, So Hyun felt happy going to school. Previously, Ha Jun said to tell him if something happened to So Hyun. Even now, no new quests appear. Then So Hyun met Ha Jun, asked him to walk together to school. Suddenly, a Windows quiz pops up saying the quest tutorial has been completed. The main quest will start. The reward for completing the main quest first is a platinum card, cards higher than gold. So Hyun thought the quest would be difficult according to what he thought. It turned out that the quest was to defeat the leader of Gang Boxio High School, with a vulnerable time of three days. Then, a Windows notification appears. When the main quest is executed, additional quests will be activated. You can get more cards from now on. While running the main quiz, another quest will appear. Seo Hyun, while thinking about this difficult quest during recess, Seo Hyun and Yakuza were eating in the canteen, thinking what he should do. At first he met Ha Jun, thanks to Quest, and thanks to that also his school time became normal. The Yakuza asked in a whisper, Why did he eat with us? Because he liked it, Seo Hyun answered. Another thought also emerged from Seo Hyun. Maybe the Ha Jun was pretending, even though he has bad rumors, but he is a good friend who will protect Seo Hyun. Then Ha Jun went first after finishing eating. While thinking about the quest, So Hyun thinks of an idea where he won't do the quest because now Ha Jul is his friend. Besides that, Seo Hyun's goal is just a normal school life. So Hyun happily went to Ha Jun's place. When he got there, he instead saw Ha Jun, who was beating someone brutally. Do you think he's a good person? said one who was leaning against the wall behind. So Hyun told that the reason was because Chan Dong didn't fully get money from students who were Dialak. Chang Dong had a problem with students in groups, and all of the Palak money from these students had to be in the sector to Ha Jun. He advised So Hyun what the real Ha Jun was like, and he left after. Saw So Hyun who came, he greeted him. Then So Hyun asked, Why are you taking care of me? It is because you are good at boxing and before meeting you there were only insects, Ha Jun answered. Before he met So Hyun, the students near Ha Jun were just weak people. From that answer, So Hyun knows who Ha Jun really is. After thinking about it, So Hyun will lose her jab technique if Quest fails, and one day she will find out Seo Hyun isn't that good at punching anymore. From there, Ha Jun would not treat Seo Hyun like a human again. Ha Jun's previous answer could only be replied by Seo Hyun by saying she was touched. In the evening, So Hyun practiced using his jab. He was determined not to give up so easily, but he still doesn't know how he can win. He only has jabs to fight and previously all of So Hyun's fists were avoided by Ha Jun. Thinking about that makes So Hyun pessimistic about not winning. Then came a group of five high school kids who would yell at So Hyun, saying that she didn't have any money. 
It made them angry, and one of them immediately swung his fist at Seo Hyun. With his jab, So Hyun managed to hit him in the face first. So Hyun was surprised by her own reflex, so she apologized for that. After jab, a Windows Quest notification pops up saying Jap's skill level has increased. Seo Hyun could feel the change. The man who was hit earlier got angry and punched So Hyun again, again able to do Jap to his face. Jap this time felt faster and stronger than before. So Hyun returned several punches. After that, he made blood come out of the man's nose. Seeing his friend being beaten, they were angry with Seo Hyun. With this, a new additional quest appears which contains defeating five baddies. The prize is a silver card with a note. There are hidden conditions, but because this is an additional mission, so you cannot do it. So Hyun had wanted to just give up on this mission, but because she already had the determination to beat Ha Jun, she couldn't help but face these five people, even though she was actually scared too. The previously beaten person then returned, swinging his fist hard and fast right at his chin, which made the person drop instantly. His friends called out to him, but he was still unconscious. With this, one enemy has lost because of him who hasn't regained consciousness, even though his friends keep on resuscitating him. So Hyun felt like she had killed someone, but luckily one of them said she fainted. So Hyun was relieved to hear that, and So Hyun knew that if he aimed right at the chin hard, it could make his opponent faint. Their anger peaked, knowing that their friend had fainted. Therefore, So Hyun ran first while he was thinking of a suitable place for him to fight alone against many people. Until So Hyun ran into a dead end alley, there So Hyun felt she could beat them. But their stamina had now been drained, so they knew So Hyun's stamina was weak and could only use a jab. But So Hyun ate the restorer beans. Instantly, So Hyun's stamina immediately recovered. Then one of them attacked. Seo Hyun was again able to hit him again and again. Now two of them had lost. Meanwhile, So Hyun felt her body had adapted to the jab. Besides that, he can attack at will, which makes him think he can defeat Ha Jun. Then, one by one, they were knocked down by So Hyun's jab, which hit their chins. With this, additional quests were successfully completed as well as completing hidden conditions. Where the hidden condition is to win without getting hit by a single hit, aka perfect, and because you have completed the hidden conditions, the card prize that was silver was upgraded to a gold card. So Hyun opened the gold card. He was confused by its function. So far, the function of this gold card has not been shown. Only eight hours left to defeat Ha Jun. So Hyun was confused about how to win against the rumored undefeated Ha Jun. So far, the cards he has are four. A restorer bean, a jab, a high pitch, and a gold card of his former reward whose function has not been shown. So Hyun is determined to win. Otherwise, she will go back to her old life, which was chairing being bullied. Saw So Hyun with a flat expression that could make people afraid. Yakuza said, do you want me to kiss you? Actually, the Yakuza intended to joke, but that was not supported by his looks and flat tone of voice. Then the Yakuza asked, did something happen? So Hyun answered that it was because Ha Jun thought he had to protect the Yakuza, because the Yakuza always helped him, which made him beat himself. Hearing the word Ha Jun, the Yakuza looked worried, because they feel that the Yakuza have helped them a lot and have not thanked them properly. So So Hyun sincerely thanked the Yakuza. The Yakuza were confused by the thanks, and suddenly Ha Jun came and took So Hyun to the cafeteria. In So Hyun's mind, he was thinking about how he would start fighting with Ha Jun. But before that, he had to go to the cafeteria first. Before going to the canteen, one of So Hyun's classmates accidentally soiled Ha Jun's clothes with his ice cream. This made Ha Jun immediately hit him. He made the people in class shocked. While clutching Ha Jun's collar, Seo Hyun visited him, who said, Woi, with a very sad face and asked him to stop his heinous actions. Apart from being prepared to fight, Ha Jun's response was unexpected. He instead held So Hyun's head like it was being rubbed. By saying So Hyun is a loyal person, he misinterpreted that So Hyun was angry because he had beaten up his classmate. So he asked So Hyun not to be mad at him because of a fellow friend. After that took So Hyun to the canteen. He didn't even have time to reply. In sports class, people were gossiping about So Hyun who provoked a fight with Ha Jun. But Hyun doesn't want to fight with him, really considering him as a friend. Meanwhile, it's mid-time to beat Ha Jun only two hours left and feel he might be bullied soon. While talking with the Yakuza, Cherin approached So Hyun. 
He shared that he heard a rumor that was spreading fast at school about Seo Hyun provoking a relationship with Ha Jun. Charon asked if So Hyun wanted to beat Ha Jun. I don't know. Hearing that Charon thought So Hyun was funny, because he was annoyed to see Ha Jun hitting someone, then he asked, Why are you hanging out with a figure like Go Ha Jun? You helped me when I was bothered by Chang Dong and told about Ha Jun. Are you doing all this to help me, and also you are not buying someone else? You seem like a good person. Charon said that she was comfortable just hanging out with them, continued by saying, What kind of answer do you want? Besides thinking Charon thinks of him like a friend, but the woman who thinks So Hyun misunderstands by assuming she likes So Hyun. Therefore, he asked So Hyun not to go too far. He also apologized for that and said, I thought you were my friend. When Charon was about to leave, suddenly, one of So Hyun's classmates gave bad news, where the Yakuza were looking for poison in his hangout. It turned out that the Yakuza had left while So Hyun was talking to Charon. Meanwhile, Hajun Yakuza hangs out, ordering Hajun to call before him. Hajun's subordinates laughed at the order. One of his subordinates tried to hit him, but Hajun stopped him from coming. Suddenly Hajul asked, Why did you come looking for me? Don't bother So Hyun, said the Yakuza seriously. The Yakuza thought that John had bought So Hyun. Because of that, Hajun did not accept it and immediately beat the Yakuza with one slap, and he was a friend. Then Hajun again beat up the Yakuza because he hated to see his face like an old man. After that, Hajun warned the Yakuza not to be with Sohyun anymore, because this world has ranks, and Yakuza are not considered on the same level as Sohyun. The battered Yakuza doesn't care about Hajun's words and says, If you think she's your friend for reasons of strength, Sohyun probably won't see you as a friend. Right after those words, a jab hit Hajun in the face. But there were no scratches or blood coming out of his face, and he was a little surprised by Seo Hyun. Meanwhile, So Hyun says if it wasn't for the Yakuza, she wouldn't have survived this harsh school life. Because Yakuza helps when bullied, even though in the end he gets hit too. On the other hand, news about So Hyun fighting with Hajun behind the school has spread. The students thought So Hyun was crazy for daring to challenge Hajun and thought the fight would only turn into a massacre. In droves, they went to the scene. Charon went there and was surprised to see that the news was true. So Hyun returns to confirm whether he wants to fight with Ha Jun, who considers So Hyun his friend. However, he says, his only friends at school are Yakuza. Meanwhile, So Hyun remembers the gold card she got before. An attack type card with the name of an additional strength card functions to increase strength in five seconds. Then So Hyun said, I will beat you in five seconds. The students who heard that were sure So Hyun was really crazy for a start. He directed his jab at Ha Jun's face. Ha Jun can avoid it. It didn't stop there. So Hyun made a barrage of ready-made barrages of students watching them. Really felt like they saw a boxing fight. They also didn't expect Seo Hyun's greatness because Ha Jun just avoided it, so their prejudice was that So Hyun would win. People started expecting Ha Jun to lose. But Kan Dong said he felt weird towards So Hyun, because when he fought him and against Ha Jun, he only used jabs. Meanwhile, So Hyun looks exhausted. Ha Jun immediately hit Seo Hyun's stomach. While Su Hyun hit him, that one punch made So Hyun hurt, and from that attack, Ha Jun. He knew that So Hyun could only jab. With a hurting stomach, So Hyun said, I only need five minutes to win. But this time, Ha Jun hit So Hyun right in the face. He made Seo Hyun fall to the ground with a messy face. Then So Hyun got up and ran to catch Ha Jung screaming for five seconds. He hit So Hyun again. He was surprised by what So Hyun did. Thought if So Hyun wanted to wrestle, then it would be impossible because of their weight difference. No matter how many times he fell and was hit, So Hyun tried to keep getting closer to Ha Jun, until finally he could embrace Ha Jun. After that, he ate the restoration bean, and his stamina recovered. Meanwhile, Ha Jun is annoyed with what So Hyun is doing. He tried to let go of So Hyun's hand that was holding him but couldn't. In addition, he also cannot move. It turns out this was caused by So Hyun activating additional power from her gold card. The additional power of the card is to increase the weight to 100 kilograms, within 5 seconds which can be used only once a day. Coupled with So Hyun's initial weight of 56 kilograms, the weight becomes 156 kilograms. With that weight he managed to lift Ha Jun. Their audience was completely shocked. Then he threw the Hajun on the ground. It didn't stop there. So Hyun took off his jacket, 
crossed the straps of his singlet, and launched a barrage of attacks on Hajun's face until the time for using additional power was up. Hajun, who was lying on the ground with a messy face, admitted his defeat. Right with that word, So Hyun, the main quest was successfully completed. On the side of the audience, they were shocked they couldn't believe what they saw, who realized they only remembered the prize. The next day, the school looked conducive, and the students talked casually. Meanwhile, Hajun was not seen attending school. They hoped he would not be able to go to school forever. They did not think that a Hajun could be defeated by a single person. Moreover, someone is a loser like Kim So Hyun. While gossiping about it, one of the students told them to be quiet because the new headmaster would be passing by. Meanwhile, instead of being proud or pretending to be cool, Soo Hyun instead stammered at the gossip of the students who said he was the new school leader. Because he could not stand it, he went to the toilet. There, So Hyun saw a platinum card from the reward of defeating Ha Jun. He opened it. It's a peak card. Apart from not knowing the function of this card, Yakuza came out of there asking about So Hyun's chatter. Know what the answer. Then they walked down the hall of the classroom. Remember the cold running down So Hyun's cheeks? The students whispered about So Hyun beating Ha Jun. One of the girls said she looks like a good kid. But the other girl said rumors that So Hyun's face was just a trick to ambush girls and it was very sneaky. Other baseless rumors also sounded in So Hyun's ear. Starting from Ha Jun who entered the ICU, So Hyun who also hit Ha Jun's father, to the results of the MBTI test which said So Hyun was a psychopath. Not only Seo Hyun, the Yakuza were also hit by strange rumors like he wasn't actually a student. He was already 48 years old, to the son of a Yakuza. As for those who say Yakuza is So Hyun's right hand, who used to decide their rank after fighting for three days and three nights. When he was about to say all this was a misunderstanding, So Hyun instead bumped into a group of people, with the look of a thug taller than a dumbfounded Seo Hyun. Seeing them, their lead confirmed. Are you Kim So Hyun, the one who beat Sunbei Ha Jun? Yes, but I didn't do anything wrong, she replied. After knowing Seo Hyun, they quickly lowered their heads and saluted So Hyun. Their leader named Lee Hyun Dong. He was the leader of grade one children. He was surprised and asked why they were respectful. He says it's because So Hyun is now the head of gang high school. So it's only natural that he saluted like this, because many people saw that So Hyun told him not to do this kind of greeting, and also didn't want to become a high school leader. Seo Hyun just wanted to come to school normally. Hearing that Hyun Jong thought his group was dumped. Not only that, he told them to leave and didn't want to get involved with them. So Hyun also wonders who they really are. The Yakuza told that he was led by a grade one boy named Lee Hyun Dong before they were followers of Ha Jun, and maybe Ha Jun felt they were a nuisance. They used to follow Ha Jun with one goal, but because Ha Jun who was that strong lost to So Hyun, they looked for Seo Hyun for a new leader for their goal. Besides that, he is the sibling of Lee Hyun Do from Jai Wo High School. Then So Hyun asked what their goal was, and their goal was to unite the bullied high schools, divided into four high schools who wanted to expand their power with each other. But Ha Jun was not interested in uniting everything, and Lee Hyun Dong had different thoughts. In other words, he wants to unite Gang Bu with So Hyun. From that explanation, So Hyun doesn't want to get involved with them. Meanwhile, Hyun Dong and his subordinates looked weak at Seo Hyun's rejection just now. Back to Seo Yun when she thought about her school life that would be normal. Suddenly the Windows quiz appeared by bringing up a new main quest quiz called Mastering Gang Bok Seo High School with three quests to get prizes. The first order wins Gang Bu High School freshmen, the second and third are still a mystery. Seo Hyun, who couldn't refuse this quest, could only surrender. Otherwise, everything he got so far will disappear and he will return to his old life. Therefore, he called Hyun Dong's group back and said that he would rule Gambu High School from now on, with an expression that looked resigned. On the side of the Hyundo group, they shouted happily. Then, with resignation, Su Hyun said, It's nice to see you happy with tears flowing. From there, So Hyun became the leader of Gangbuk High School. When you get to class, what will happen next? He just wants a normal life. Then he thought all the missions he got because of times like this. So he stopped to think about everything. Then So Yun remembered peak cards still not used. 
Actually, he wanted to use it today but was interrupted by the first grader earlier. Then Charon came and sat on So Hyun's bench. Charon asked what he was going to do. Because rumors say Seo Hyun wants to rule gang high school mom, don't you think? But you said you wanted to unify the bullshit. So Hyun said no, with a pitiful expression. This made Charon say Seo Hyun was cute. Then suddenly So Hyun stayed sharp towards Charon, as shocked by that and saw So Hyun's strange eyes while asking what he was doing. Peeking, Seo Hyun replied with a flat expression. This made Charon even more shocked and embarrassed with a red face. It turned out that So Hyun activated the platinum card to peek at Charin. The purpose of peeking from this platinum card is to see someone's abilities, such as skills in a game. Meanwhile, Charin called and asked what So Hyun was doing because she felt harassed. As if in line with Charin's question, So Hyun said peeking to see his own abilities. Seo Hyun's ability to start appeared, but because she was focused on her skills, she didn't listen to Charin. Charin, who felt abused, slapped So Hyun's face. After that, Charin left even though her cheek hurt, So Hyun even thought about peeking cards. He knew about the contents of the starting ability, but did not know the meaning of the potential. After that, apart from walking in the class halls with the Yakuza, he felt nervous because the Hyun Dong group was escorting them. Doing something so embarrassing, they told people to stay away from the path the high school leader was going to walk. If not, then we'll be beaten. So Hyun was only able to surrender to see people who looked at him strangely. New rumors spread where So Hyun's group will harvest the organs of people who will approach her. Even the headmaster has been beaten into feeling happy thinking the students are happy. So Hyun said no one is happy. Instead they think I'm trash, and why are you doing this? If you want to say something, just say it. Then he gave a white envelope full of bloodstains saying, this is the money for this month. So Yun didn't want to accept it seeing the blood from the envelope. So Yun scolded them and asked whose blood this was. It turned out to be blood from a grade one child. So Yun, who did not want to accept the money, was instead taken by the Yakuza. When he wanted to put it in his pocket, So Hyun was told to return it. Hyun Dong's opinion about So Hyun not wanting to accept money was because the amount was not enough and thought that Seo Hyun had high standards. So from that, Seo Hyun angry and ordered them to leave. Meanwhile, Seo Hyun saw that Hyun Dong's abilities were higher than her. Peeking at Hyun Dong's abilities made her feel embarrassed, and So Hyun saw that too disgusted. Not wanting to be more involved with them, So Hyun walked away. He says we will have leader inauguration. The order is the appointment of the leader. Because of that, So Hyun had no other choice. Then said, let's do the inauguration because I am the leader. While saying that, tears rolled down her cheeks. The inauguration ceremony has been completed. The juniors salute him. With this, the quest has been completed. Two points, only one more order that hasn't appeared yet, and a prize that is still a mystery. Because the inauguration was over, so Yun wanted to leave the room, but was stopped by Hyun Dong, because he had to have a meeting first. The themed meeting about high school gang Bo was bothering at this time. It was no different from the battlefield because of the power struggle after Sung Yohan. The four high schools that were bullied were first gang Budong High School. The leader was said to be crazy since becoming a leader. He was a person who lived as he pleased. According to rumors, he was even involved in human trafficking. Then Gangnam High School presided over by model students, though he's aiming for something shows in how his business is run. Then Kang Bak High School, So Hyun's high school. So Hyun said, why don't you just give in? Besides that, why do you have to determine the disturbance and if they attack, you can report it to the police. Meanwhile, the Yakuza who are doing nothing casually ask for water like a boss. The underlings also fetched water for him. So Hyun again said, why don't we just get along? But that's impossible, said Hyun Dong. They have been looking for So Hyun. That's because the rumors spread by Hyun Dong about So Hyun's leader slaughtering his enemies using a singlet. So Hyun gets angry and says she doesn't care about high school unification, nor is she going to fight. Then asked not to follow him from now on for just spreading weird rumors. Apart from that, So Hyun just wants to come to school normally. Arriving at So Hyun's house happily watching TV, she is relieved that she won't have to deal with gang unification. Not long after that, Da Hyun came home. He protested to his brother because at school he was called the younger brother of leader Kim So Hyun. Hyun's response took it lightly. 
He said Dahyun didn't need to worry because he had solved all his problems earlier through the meeting. He ordered all of this to stop if he didn't want to be beaten, and also forbade him from joining the meeting. If not, he will complain to their mother. Regardless of all that, So Hyun now feels her life is free and will live a normal school life. Meanwhile, at a karaoke place, someone is seen counting money. One of his luggage wants permission to report news about Kang, but this mysterious man says he doesn't care. But underneath it says, I think you should know that. The news that was conveyed was that Go Ha Jun had lost. Hearing that the mysterious man immediately kicked that it was only the subordinate who was in pain, hoping that the man believed that it was the new leader named So Hyun who defeated Ha Jun. Then the mysterious man said he didn't hit because he lost, but because he didn't need to know about it, and this mysterious man named Han Jiha, the leader of Gang Budong High School. Meanwhile, at a bowling alley, one of the underlings there tells his boss that in high school, Ha Jun had lost to a guy named Kim So Hyun and spread rumors that he was very cruel. He asks what is the leader's plan. He also says he has to see Su Hyun's face now because the bully meeting will be held soon and his name is Kang Seo, the leader of high school Bully 6. In another place, Hyun Dong wrote his name and So Hyun with wood. He was confused about what he should do because the bully meeting will be held in a moment. Thinking about that, he was surprised by a call from So Hyun, and as you might expect, So Hyun said she would join the gangbo meeting with tears in her eyes. All of that because command number three of Quest rules Gang High School, which is to attend gangbo meetings. The prizes from this quest have also been shown, one gold card and ten bronze cards. Heard Hyun Dong said So Hyun will prepare it. So Hyun immediately went into battle. So Hyun tries to tell him not to do anything. But Hyun Do, just silent, on his face radiated will do something that will make Seo Hyun unhappy. The next day in class, So Hyun activates a peak card at her classmate. Every time he peeked, they felt something was strange, but So Hyun even felt happy seeing people's abilities. Confused why their reaction was weird when he activated the card, the point is that after thinking about it, people would feel embarrassed when he used his core card on someone. This peak card also has a range of HP 17 one hundredths, So Hyun said to forget what he said just now. Meanwhile, Seo Hyun was wondering who the real Yakuza were. Long story short, the bully meeting will be held today. Yakuza confused again by So Hyun's words, but he only thanked the Yakuza for coming with him. The Yakuza asked what So Hyun's plan was. So Hyun's plan was to just attend the meeting and rush home. Since the strong schools would be present, therefore he planned not to provoke them, as they would definitely be terrifying. So So Hyun just hoped that nothing would happen there. But according to the Yakuza, it will be difficult if nothing happens. Huh, why? So Hyun asked confusedly. It turns out that in front of them there is Hyun Dong and his group doing a salute, asking them what they are doing this time. Because So Hyun was tired of being angry with them. He explained because this meeting would be attended by the leaders of each school. So this is preparation for that, in case something untoward happens. Besides that, according to Hyun Dong, they are fighters from newcomers who join voluntarily. Some even chose to come instead of waiting for their grandfather who was in critical condition, and that person also said that grandfather would be proud. He even added, they are all here ready to serve Seo Hyun and willing to die for Seo Hyun. Uphold your hearts. You will have dinner in hell. The juniors were amazed by the words of the Yakuza. So Hyun instead forbids all of this. Meanwhile, the students passing by think So Hyun and her underlings are going to have a gang fight. He told them to go home only him, Yakuza, and Hyun Dong would go. So Hyun's words made Hyun Dong have a different opinion. He thought that So Hyun alone was enough to face everyone from other schools, besides being angry with Hyun Dong's stupidity. Then told them all to go home immediately, go to the meeting. At the hangout, he is seen to have hit a gangster member. He told the person to apologize to him. From what Jiha said, that person didn't pay for the drinks. When he wanted to hit again one of the gangster leaders, he stopped Jiha's hand. Jiha kicked him in the head. Then one of the underlings came to say that the meeting will start soon. He also looked angry at his men because they didn't care about that. They had now arrived in front of the building whose construction was halted. This building will be used for meetings. In addition, 
Meetings are always held in this building. Seo Hyun go into the building. The first thought that occurred to him was that scary people must be hanging around here, and he was about to get smacked. After going inside, the first person So Hyun met was the Gangbu Six High School group led by Kang Seo. He called Seo Hyun politely, and his words were friendly. They also introduced themselves to each other, so So Hyun thought that he was a good person, and Seo Hyun's nervousness lessened a little. Then the three of them sat down on a chair politely like. He told So Hyun not to be fooled by Kang Seok's smile. Even though Kang is like that, he is still the head of Gangnam High School. In addition, he is a person who is difficult to predict, and there must be a reason why he became a leader. On the high school side, one of the underlings asked, How did Kang Seo think about Seo Hyun? From the words of the name earlier, Kang Seok even misunderstood. He thinks So Hyun provoked him with the intention of saying he sucks. He was curious as to what Kang Seo's group was talking about. Meanwhile, he waved his hand to Seo Hyun. Hyun Do says, Don't lose the eye fight. So Hyun immediately told Hyun Dong to be quiet. When So Hyun was looking at other schools that had not arrived yet, Si Hon Dong left. So Hyun stretched his body. Not long after that, Han Jae Ha and his group from Gang High School arrived. His temperamental nature makes him very emotional. He sees Kang Seo and calls him a bastard, his bully casually. Meanwhile, So Hyun, he can see that he is a dangerous person. He's like the type of person who likes to snatch other people's girlfriends. With Jae Ha's arrival, the quest to become the leader of Gang Box has been successfully carried out. So Hyun got one gold card and ten bronze cards because she came to the meeting. He only came to get a card. He also invited Yakuza and Hyundo to go. But So Hyun immediately stopped. Jae Ha heard that Ha Jun was defeated by So Hyun, so he asked So Hyun to fight. Jae Ha was shocked. This is because So Hyun responded only with a sarcastic smile. But the reason So Hyun smiled was because he was sure about when the new quest would appear like the previous quests. Quest defeats Ha Jun where he only wants to be friends with Ha Jun. So now if he's acting weird then the quest to defeat Jae Ha will appear. That's why So Hyun just smiled and after that she didn't do anything but just put on a flat expression. On the side of high school kids who saw Jae Ha and Seo Hyun, the subordinates there were amazed by Seo Hyun. In which he said not only did he provoke, Kang Seo Hyun wasn't even afraid of Jae Hee. Kang Seo, who had misinterpreted from the start, also confirmed his subordinate's words. The underlings felt strange with blank stares, so asked Kang Seo. He must have known Jae Ha's weakness they gossiped again about the rumors of So Hyun circulating. Now that was true. Where were the rumors about the high school leader holding an opposing family member hostage for his purposes? So they think So Hyun will now take on Jae Ha's challenge, and it's a tough fight. Therefore, Kanzel do not want to lose the opportunity. He planned that when So Hyun and Jae Ha got tired from fighting, then he and his high school would attack them. So Hyun's blank stare also makes him angry, because according to him, no one dares to provoke him like this. This student in his heart he felt afraid, but because it was like this even though there was no mission, So Hyun wanted to fight. When he wanted to say someone suddenly came who asked to stop the fight now, he wanted to commemorate something that Jae Ha and So Hyun fought. But Jae Ha immediately grabbed the person's face, saying, You bully. Even though he was grabbed by the neck, he felt no fear. Instead, he still continued his warning. Where if Jae Ha and So Hyun fight here, then they will look for an opportunity. Then he asked to stay calm and give advice. If Jae Ha wants to fight with So Hyun, then find another day. Hearing that Jae Ha thought rationally this time, he was shocked and turned to the cancel and waved his hand. And from there, Jae Ha released Seo Hyun and left. Afterwards, while saying, you are lucky. With Jae Ha gone, they ended this tough rights meeting because lingering here might only lead to fights. I already know your face. Let's greet each other, said to Seo Hyun. Then Kang looked towards the sofa. The couch was a place for the powder gang high kids who were yet again absent, heard greeting each other. So Hyun also said, can we do that tomorrow? Are you trying to provoke me again? He replied. But he was glad there was no fight today. Before leaving, So Hyun peeked at Kang Seo using his card. But it can't be done because the system says peeking rank is not enough. 
The next morning he looked tired with bags under his eyes when he walked to school because the meeting bothered him so nervous that he fell asleep when he got home. Then So Hyun thought about her peeping card. She thought evil and Kang Seo was too strong, so her current card rank couldn't be activated on them. When thinking about it, the juniors as well as their subordinates pay their respects to So Hyun. They were moved with joy and shed tears when they heard the news about the great incident at the meeting. So Hyun was confused about what the big incident meant, but the rumor they heard was that the leader of Gang Bu Dong High School was defeated by Seo Hyun with her martial arts. The fight ended. Before disturbing, the rumor had already spread throughout the school. Meanwhile, the subordinates cheered at the fake So Hyun's prowess. So Hyun could only surrender to the rumors. Arriving at school, So Hyun, who looked tired earlier, turned out to have a fever so she went to the UKS to rest. After looking around no one, So Hyun opened all the gift cards to become the leader of the high school gang box. The cards totaled 11 gold cards and 10 bronze cards. He decided to open a gold card, opened the card, a general type of card with the name Master Card. Its function can combine and dismantle higher cards or lower cards, or you could say combine items in a game. Knowing its function as in the game, so Hyun opened the ten cartoons. Among all the cards that are most useful are cards that increase strength. Increase the strength of half stronger, but the effect So Hyun's intelligence will be reduced by three times. Just in case this card and the rest of the cards are considered unclear to So Hyun. Then So Hyun using a MasterCard card, low voice recording combined with a bronze card. A silver card, a type of attack called the Strike Fist, functions to be able to do a strike fist or a straight fist. This card also has a range which is currently a range with an increased level of 0 per 100. After that, Seo Hyun immediately tried strike boxing. He was fascinated by this master card card thinking two cards combined into a card that doesn't know if it's useful or not, but higher level. Feel it is a gamble. Even though his mother said he shouldn't gamble, but with this situation, apart from having no choice, he also combined four brown cards at once, which resulted in two silver cards. Both are types of sports cards. So Yunan felt this card was useless. Then he gambled by combining two silver cards. That kind of sport, hope he gets a useful gold card. He also prayed while activating his master card. From the merger, he got a gold card. Activation type with the name Master. Received five punches. Seo Hyun thought this was a slave card. Then So Hyun slapped himself once to check what would happen to him. It made her feel sick, but nothing happened. While thinking about pass here, Quest Windows brought up the main quest. The quest recruited four members. The prize is a gold card. So Hyun, who felt her body was healthy, left the UKS. Walking in the classroom hallway while thinking about the purpose of the quest. In class, So Hyun asked Yakuza to be a member of her crew not thinking about anything with a straight face while playing games, the answer was an immediate yes. Thus, Quest Mercure had become one of four people. On the other hand, So Hyun felt this mission was easy. Outside the classroom, he met Hyun Dong, who was carrying a packet of medicine. So Hyun asks Hyun Dong to be a member of her crew. He is shocked and drops the medicine. He instead thought So Hyun was looking for crew members for gang union happily accepted while giving him what he thought was the official salute as a gang union member. Then Hyun Do said, From now on I will call you chairman. But So Hyun immediately told to forget what he said earlier. Keep walking past Hyun Dong while playing the game. So Hyun had finished the night practice at a park where he had practiced before. While resting he was confused about who he would recruit again. If you take random people there might be problems. So So want to recruit strong people only. After seeing the start suddenly Charin came. So Hyun was surprised to see Charin, he asked. What are you doing here? So Hyun answered nervously. Because I live in this neighborhood, what's wrong? Then he left. So Hyun said, see you at school. But Charin who has Sundar traits doesn't care about it. Then So Hyun remembered something. Charin, wait, I have a request. It turns out that the request told Charin to slap him. Hearing that request, Charin's face turned red. She thought that So Hyun was a very strange and perverted person. So Hyun explained that he would feel something good coming to him after being hit. Then Charin asked, Do you want me to hit you? 
while being scolded by him. But So Hyun did not ask to be cursed at. Charing also threw a hard slap. In the middle of the road came five high school guys that So Hyun beat before. Doesn't know them, it makes them angry, saying, they are here for revenge. With their appearance, side quests also appeared. The quest required him to defeat a leader with five subordinates. The prize is one silver card. Yet their conspiracies brought in men who were stronger than them. That person was the first person So Hyun beat before. That guy named Sang Hyuk from high school bothers you. His strength, speed, and defensibility are stronger than So Hyun's. When the fight started, Cherin stopped him and asked, Which school are you guys from? They didn't care about it. Instead, they put on scary and threatening looks to Cherin. So Hyun wanted to stop them because Cherin had nothing to do with this. But a sudden punch from the Hyuk hit Kim So Hyun's stomach. You said you wanted to take down Gambo, but you're just a geek, he said. Cherin wanted to help him but was stopped by their gang. So Hyun, are you okay? Cherin said. It turns out that it wasn't pain that So Hyun was receiving, but a feeling of pleasure like a masochist. It's because of the MasterCard. Charon and the gang of bullies were surprised by So Hyun being hit, but instead said it was delicious, so they assumed So Hyun was a crazy but weird masochist who said it was good after being hit in front of women. For that, he hit So Hyun repeatedly did not feel pain. So Hyun is back at ease until the MasterCard effect please activates. After getting hit five times and the good thing that happened is, one of So Hyun's starts improved randomly. The increased start was the force that sent him crashing into the wall and passing out. Instantly, the people who saw it were shocked. After that, So Hyun said to Charin, I want to confess to you, you know I feel good when I get hit. Charin blushed and said, You crazy person. Saw his sister passed out, annoyed. Meanwhile, So Hyun, with his unique, peculiar style, prepared to fight. But before that, the gang of bullies wanted to beat So Hyun first, who was the first to come and immediately received a punch in the face. After that, So Hyun thought of a place to fight. One punch she had made the person down instantly, even though So Hyun had resisted the attack. Then So Hyun told Charin to close her eyes, but Charin didn't close her eyes until So Hyun made three more people faint. Meanwhile, Sang Yuk applauded Seo Hyun. Did not wait long, the direct swing Hyuk punch first. But because the effect of the master card had run out, which made Seo Hyun's strength return, so Hyuk felt like he was just being bitten by an ant. With a knee kick, he managed to hit Seo Hyun's stomach, feeling strange. Why is the entry card here not active anymore that makes Seo Hyun feel sick? Seo Hyun received several punches after that until she was knocked over a bit. But the Hyuk was shocked and surprised to see Seo Hyun, who got up as if nothing had happened. Seo Hyun asked to stop for a moment. Meanwhile, he was thinking about why his card is no longer active. He didn't want to waste time, while Seo Hyun didn't want to lose to him because Charin would be in danger. Sang Yuk asked Charin to wait and would beat So Hyun first. Sang Yuk hit So Hyun again, but now the masochist card is active again. Used a strike after that. So Hyun thanked Charin because he already knew the reason why the masochist card had five hits. It's because of the embarrassment of being hit in front of women while eating restorer beans. It turns out that the pass won't activate just by getting hit. The condition for its activation was to be beaten along with being humiliated. Then Sang Yuk tried to fight by doing wrestling moves, because he knew the difference in weight between them. But he couldn't lift So Hyun. It turned out that So Hyun used additional strength, gaining 100 kilograms in 5 seconds. So Hyun elbowed him in the back, followed by punching his head. Charin was shocked to see him. Meanwhile, So Hyun's stats have increased a lot. Then he hit the Hyuk repeatedly. With this, the side quest defeating the bully leader has been successful, getting one silver card, but still not showing what card it is. The next day at school, So Hyun thought doing the previous quest was really fun. All the quests that came up were related to his actions. He was suddenly slapped by Charin. While berating So Hyun, the masochistic So Hyun asked to be slapped on the right cheek as well but Charin just cursed at him. With blushing cheeks, then So Hyun asked what was wrong. It turned out that there had been rumors that he and So Hyun were dating. His students seeing it thought it was a lover's quarrel. Apart from denying the rumors, then saying all we did was an indirect kiss, that letting slip made people even more misunderstood. 
Their underclassmen came with flowers and asked if it was true that Charon had fallen in love with Sohyun for saving her. He quickly denied it. Meanwhile, at a road to high school, Sang Hyung apologizes to Jai Ha for not being able to win against So Hyun. He said the rumors about So Hyun were true, where she would pretend to be weak in the beginning and brush her opponent brutally in the end. But he considered So Hyun just like trash that he didn't deserve to hit. Then Hyuk said that So Hyun spread rumors about Jai Ha who lost to him. Jai Ha also intends to catch So Hyun. Jai Ha, who wanted to find So Hyun, was stopped by his subordinates. He was named Huang, person number 14 in high school. That person said to Jeha, In essence, why should Jeha bother catching ants? So let him do it. Before allowing him, warned him that by holding his stomach, Jeha would allow him to move. So Hyun looked at the silver card he got before, a regular type card with the name Skyrocket. He is confused whether this card will be used or not, because he does not know what it does. Apart from that, the main quest recruited two new members from four, while outside the class, so Hyun thought, who else should be recruited? In addition, he plans to increase his peak rank, while the strap of his school sandals breaks in front of him, a Charon calls him. Because So Hyun's sandal strap broke so he lost his balance and ended up hitting his head on Charon's chest. So Hyun wanted to explain but Charon immediately slapped him. So Hyun who was slapped even felt happy. So Hyun explained that it wasn't her fault and took it out on fate. But Charon didn't care and threatened to report to the police. Suddenly ha -jun was standing behind, so Hyun was shocked. He ran a little away and asked a lot of things like a familiar person, but he just ignored it. Meanwhile, the Windows quest pops up a notification. A new side quest appears. The contents of the quest are recruiting Go ha -jun as a member. The prize is one silver card. Then so Hyun calls ha -jun from behind and invites him to become a member of his crew. ha -jun again asked, ignoring him. After school at boss waiting, so Hyun told him that he had invited ha -jun to invite him to become a member, but he was ignored by the Yakuza. The Yakuza were also confused by ha -jun who just left. Then one of the class came. He reported that there was a big problem where Hyun Dong was caught by high school kids. So Hyun's response was simple. You should report it to the police. You tend to ignore government authority. Other than that, So Hyun told him to take care of himself because he was not going to fight there. After that, the first grader kept calling So Hyun, but he didn't respond. Behind him is Ha Jun watching them on the bus. The Yakuza asked if it was all right. Other than not going, said he didn't want to go because he was being bullied. Besides that, he also hopes that Hyundo stays away from him. Meanwhile, Hyun Dong is being taught all over by Gang Bu Dong's high school subordinates. They labeled Hyun Dong, who was like a parasite always clinging to Go Ha Jun, then to Kim So Hyun. They also think that if Kim So Hyun loses, then Hyun Do will stick to someone else. But Hyun Do confidently says he has found the king he serves. That king is Kim So Hyun, and there is no king but him. Besides that, he also felt that So Hyun would not come to help him, so he asked them to just finish him off. Dai Sung used an iron staff, but the iron staff was not used by Dai Sung. He gives it to Hyun Do to hit him with the stick, until he grabs it immediately wants the stick to his bloated stomach. Dai Sung didn't feel anything from the punch. Then one kicked Hyun Dong, which made Hyun Dong sprawl. He swings the bat at Hyun Do to end it. But unexpectedly, apart from having his fist strike hitting that person's face, the underlings were stunned. Dai Sung has a normal expression while Hyun Dong is moved. Then So Hyun said, I'll clean up everything. So Hyun peeked at the stats of the subordinates, whose stats were similar to Seo Hyun's. But for Dai Sung, who is the strongest number 14 in Gang Budong High School, his stats are much higher than Seo Hyun. Apart from that, the durability reaches A+. In front of him, So Hyun looks little respect for people who are older than him, so he asked permission to So Hyun to finish him. So Hyun was silent. Denso took off his shirt. His underlings asked, let them fight first. But Dai Sung didn't allow it because he felt he could finish it alone. So Hyun who heard that Dai Sung wanted to fight him alone, was stunned when he gave the order to fight. He immediately used Jab's punches, followed by a straight for Dai Sung's stomach. So Hyun was surprised that Dai Sung didn't feel his fist. Then So Hyun again launched a combo punch at Dai Sung. Again Dai Sung didn't feel the punch because the fat on his stomach got in the way, wanting to aim at his head when he looked at Dai Sung's head. 
Daisung immediately punched his stomach and said weight was the problem. For that, he had one way, namely using a 100 kilograms weight gain card in five seconds. He approached Daisung and approached when he activated the card. A Windows Quest notification appears saying it failed to use the card. That's because using a weight gain card can only be used once a day. Previously, the card was used against Sang Hyo, and the remaining time for reuse is only one hour left. Daisung immediately strangled So Hyun and lifted him up with only one hand, then threw him to the ground. Seeing that, Daisung's innate thought So Hyun was only a weak person. Meanwhile, Daisung didn't seem to believe that the number one person in gang high school was even this weak. Therefore, Daesung ordered his subordinates to finish off So Hyun, because he felt fighting Seo Hyun would only be a waste of energy. Not except So Hyun will be killed, he immediately protected him. Swinging a baseball bat at Hyun Dong, this time Ha Jun came and kicked him. So Hyun was shocked by Ha Jun's arrival. Then Ha Jun wanted to ask one thing to So Hyun. What do you mean this makes me a crew member? Do you think I'm weak? It's not like that. I feel I can depend on you if you are near me. Hearing that Ha Jul said So Hyun is a strange person and said she will join her crew and get ready to fight. That way the side quest of recruiting Ha Jun has been successful. Get rewarded with one silver card. The card was immediately opened, and he was surprised to see it. Daesung greeted Ha Jun who came and said, Shall we start the fight right away? But Ha Jun said that the one who fought with Daesung was not himself, but Kim So Hyun the runner who had not warmed up earlier. Seo Hyun got up by eating peanuts. Apart from that, the side quest appears again, this time doing a combo of a different card. The prize is a gold card. He immediately hit So Hyun's face, received a card notification. This time, Da Sung performed a combo attack until the activation of the masochist card was active. Again, what increased was Seo Hyun's strength. So So Hyun took a strike to Da Sung's stomach. Daesung would not believe So Hyun's punch made his distended stomach hurt. Then So Hyun activated the Skyrocket card which jumped up, making the people there dumbfounded. Because So Hyun's actions were profitable for him, he was sure he would easily catch Seo Hyun with his hands. So Hyun combined the Skyrocket card with the silver card he got just now. That card was a type of attack card called Taekwondo that hit Daesung's face. Blood came out of Daesung's face. His subordinates were shocked in disbelief. Likewise with Ha Jun and Hyun Dong. With this, the side mission to beat Dai Sung was completed, got a gold card, and so Hyun immediately opened the card, but two cards came out. Seo Hyun had to choose one of the two cards, while Han Dae Sung tried to make her aware. But he doesn't answer, and tells them to take him and go from here. Seo Hyun had arrived at his house. His body was full of fatigue. For that, he wanted to go straight to his room to rest. But before that, he saw Dahyun dancing in front of the camera in the living room. But it was strange. Even Dahyun was angry about that. Because previously So Hyun said she would come home late. That's why she danced, with the reason that everyone in her class did that too. Didn't want to add to the exhaustion of arguing. So So Hyun went straight to his room. So Hyun lay down while looking at what card he would choose from the two gold cards earlier. One card can see. The next card can be, and the other is the greeting card. While thinking about that, So Hyun, who was tired, fell asleep. Meanwhile, at Gang Bodong High School, a person who seems to have a higher rank than Dai Sung tells Dai Sung to just go home today and stay out of Jai Ha's sight for a while if he doesn't want to die, because Jai Ha won't let his subordinates fail. Dai Sung, with a scared expression, obeyed. When he wanted permission to go home, Jai Ha came and was annoyed. Daesung still dared to come to the school, immediately prostrated himself apologizing and giving reasons. Thus he asked for one more chance, but since Jae Ha was a temperamental person, he wanted the punch. Seo Hyun thanked Sis Ha Jun for saving her. Ha Jun was surprised. The problem was So Hyun apologized while Ha Jun was peeing in the toilet. So Hyun's excuse was that he just wanted to see Ha Jun, and I don't know what came to So Hyun's mind. He asked if you want me to clean it up. Ha Jun replied casually, he could clean it himself. But Seo Yun, who seemed to be infected with the stupidity of the Han Dong instead, said, Wow, I think you can do everything alone. Ha Jun was confused by that, came out in the toilet so Yun still followed Ha Jun. He was grateful that Ha Jun had looked after his crew members.
But Ha Jun said not to get me wrong, because he just wanted to see So Hyun fight. He warned So Hyun to be careful with Han Jae Ha, because he's not an ordinary delinquent. Swinging his hand earlier, apparently just holding his head, he asked everything about So Hyun that Dai Sung knew. Jae Ha's friends also feel strange with Jae Ha, but it turned out that after he finished telling Jae Ha, he immediately kicked Dai Sung, and only with that one kick. Ha Jun confirmed what kind of person So Hyun was from suddenly being fine after dying and suddenly using a kick. In a high school class, Hyun Do and his subordinates have another meeting. Yakuza, who doesn't do anything, feels like a boss with his sitting style, which makes So Hyun annoyed to see him. Hyun Do said the rumors of So Hyun's title has now changed to So Hyun the Cannibal after defeating Dai Sung. Then Hyun Do regretted that Dai Sung, who was ranked 14th strongest in Gang Budong, did not have a territory, because if there was, it would become a territory. He explained about the So Hyun area, seemed not to care about Yun Dong's chatter. He only looked at the two cards he hadn't chosen yet. So Hyun raised both cards, but the response about it. So Hyun was doing a performance, so she asked the others to get ready for applause. They also thought So Hyun was cool and deserved to be called So Hyun the Cannibal, even though he was just confused about choosing a card. After thinking a lot about the advantages and disadvantages of the two cards, So Hyun chose the Meet and Greet card, which is the Challenger card with the highest level. Want to meet So Hyun? And this card can only be used once, once it's used up, it disappears. He immediately activated this meet and greet card. Instantly, everyone in the room disappeared. There was only So Hyun. So Hyun was surprised and called everyone even when he was outside the room, no one appeared. So Hyun started to panic about what was happening while calling out to everyone until she ran out of high school. There, he saw a large card that popped up a notification. Meeting you. This is our first meeting. You must have a lot of questions, so feel free to ask, I will answer them. So Hyun felt that this big card was a challenger card, immediately asked many questions at once. Who gave me this quest? Why did I get the quest? Why should I? What do you want from me? What is the final mission? The challenger card responds immediately, I will complete your curiosity. I will call that person. Apart from being curious about who this person meant, then a voice said, You must be Kim So Yeon. I can't believe you introduced the meet and greet card. You must be a very lucky person to know that. So Hyun asked if that means someone else gave me this mission. Here So Hyun has a hunch that this person is not the one who gave her the mission, but this mysterious voice asks So Hyun not to worry about it. Kim Su Hyun slowly opened his eyes. In front of him was Hyung Dong who had been waiting for him to wake up. Hyung Dong and his friends brought Kim Su Hyun into the classroom because they found him unconscious in the alley. Hyung Dong had also heard the news that Kim Soo Hyun confronted Han Jae-ha. Kim Soo Hyun only remembered it after being told by Hyung Dong. Kim Soo Hyun sighed, realizing that he had completely lost to Han Jae-han. He lost without being able to do anything. It was the first time Kim Soo Hyun felt this kind of power difference. But Kim Soo Hyun felt something strange. He could beat Huang Dai Seong, but why couldn't he fight Han Jae-ha? Kim Soo Hyun thought that if he lost because of strength, then the difference was only between B and S. It made Kim Soo Hyun wonder if the strength here was different from what he had in mind, but possibly, strength identifies the entire attack power. At the same time, Gu Ha Jun appeared and approached Kim Soo Hyun. Gu Ha Jun immediately told Kim Soo Hyun that he was lucky because Han Jae Ha stopped his attack. But Kim Soo Hyun was surprised by his sudden presence. Kim Soo Hyun thought that the man had come because he was worried about him. Suddenly, he realized that Han Jae Ha must also be watching Gu Ha Jun. Kim Soo Hyun became very curious about how strong the man was. Then he uttered a vision. Gu Ha Jun, who heard Kim Soo Hyun's words, became confused. While Kim Soo Hyun focused on Gu Ha Jun's stat, how surprised Kim Soo Hyun was to find out that Gu Ha Jun was also ranked S, even though Gu Ha Jun can be said to be on par with Han Jae Ha. This made Kim Soo Hyun confused as to why he could beat Ha Jun. He didn't expect Gu Ha Jun to actually want to be his member. Then Soo Hyun approached Ha Jun. They both faced each other. There was a very significant height difference between the two of them. Soo Hyun asked him why he was willing to help him. Ha Jun helped him during a fight, and he was also willing to become a member. Then, 
Ha Jun admitted that it was his first time meeting someone like Su Hyun, so he was just curious. Then Ha Jun left Su Hyun while reminding him not to misunderstand. Ha Jun said that he didn't want to keep doing this with Su Hyun. Su Hyun stared at Ha Jun's departure from behind. Su Hyun also felt that Gu Ha Jun himself was a unique person. Then Su Hyun told Hyung Dong to leave. Hyung Dong felt sorry for his senior and thought that he was hurt by Ha Jun's words just now. Then, Hyung Dong left there and reminded him to recover his energy. It turned out that Su Hyun told him to leave because he had to open the card. After that, Su Hyun opened the diamond card that he had just gotten from the sub quest. Su Hyun thought that it was a blessing from God. Even though Su Hyun didn't win the battle, he thought that he was just being lucky. That way, Su Hyun was determined to use it well. Because he was very curious, Su Hyun finally opened the card. Immediately, Su Hyun was surprised to see that it was a calling card. On the other side, precisely at Gangbuk High School, there was a group of men who had lined up neatly. One of the men shouted congratulations to his senior who had won the fight. They all immediately bowed before their senior. He is Han Jae-ha, who is the gang leader of Gangbuk East High School. His men asked Jae-ha about his fight with Soo Hyun. Very confidently, he said that he wouldn't come back if he lost. Jae-ha tells them that Soo Hyun was weaker than he thought. Now that Gangbuk West High School is theirs, Jae-ha calls Kang Do-yuk, who is one of his subordinates. Jae-ha told him to gather troops and finish off Gangbuk West High School. Although Kim Soo Hyun has lost, but there is still Gu Ha Jun. It would be difficult for them even if they brought reinforcements, so Jae Ha suggested inviting him. What he meant was Park Jian, who was his fifth ranked partner. Meanwhile, Jae Ha will start focusing on Gangbuk South High School to finish off Kang Seok. Jae Ha plans after conquering West and South High School, then he faces people from Gangbuk North High School. After school, Soo Hyun went home with his sister. Da Hyun begged Soo Hyun not to come out of the room later because her friends were coming to visit. But Soo Hyun didn't take his sister seriously. Da Hyun tried to persuade Soo Hyun to follow her words. Da Hyun even promised to follow all of his orders. But still, Soo Hyun didn't respond and instead made fun of his sister. Arriving home, Soo Hyun went straight into his room. He sat on the mattress and opened the calling card. Su Hyun thought that home was a safe place to open the card. Then Su Hyun summoned the duplication cloud, instantly seeing the energy coming together into one. Seeing this made Su Hyun dumbfounded. The system tells him that the duplication cloud has been successfully summoned. Meanwhile, Da Hyun's two friends had arrived at her house. Her friend asked Da Hyun to help her create video content because she knew Da Hyun's house was empty, but Da Hyun was hesitant about it. Then Da Hyun told them that her brother's mace was in her house. Hearing this, her two friends were immediately hysterical because they realized that her brother was the running Kim Soo Hyun. On the other hand, Kim Soo Hyun was busy with his own business in his room. Above the ceiling of his room was a blue energy that was a duplicate cloud. Soo Hyun didn't expect to see that. It felt like a dream to him. But Soo Hyun was very confused about how to use it. He didn't think that the diamond card was just like that. In his mind, Su Hyun wondered if other people could see the cloud too. Instantly, the system appeared and informed that copy mode could be activated and Su Hyun could copy the targets around him. Seeing that made Su Hyun feel confused about what it meant. Finally, he decided to use it first so he could understand what it meant. Then the copy mode was activated by Su Hyun. The system detected the target to be copied. At the same time, Da Hyun suddenly entered Soo Hyun's room because her friends wanted to ask for Soo Hyun's autograph. Seeing his sister's sudden arrival made Soo Hyun very surprised and panicked. Likewise, with Da Hyun, she was so shocked that her whole body seemed to freeze. Da Hyun seemed to see something in her brother's room. Instantly, the cloud bound Da Hyun's body until he couldn't move at all. It turned out to be the process of copying Kim Da Hyun. Su Hyun was very dumbfounded at the events that were in front of his eyes now. Meanwhile, Kim Da Hyun looked very confused about what happened to her. Not long after the system stated that Kim Da Hyun had been successfully copied, the cloud slowly dissipated and released Da Hyun's body. Instantly, Da Hyun's body fell limp on the floor. You can see the panicked look on Su Hyun's face and immediately approached his sister. 
He immediately asked about her condition. Da Hyun was still in shock and her body felt frozen. Then Da Hyun told him that she couldn't move. She felt as if she was being crushed. Da Hyun explained in a stammering tone due to her panic. It felt like something was binding her body, Da Hyun said. Hearing that made Su Yun panic and widen his eyes. Her whole body was dripping with sweat. He wondered in his mind if the woman had seen her duplicating clouds. He couldn't imagine his sister knowing that. But instantly, Kim Da Hyun screamed hysterically and assumed that their house had ghosts. Luckily, her sister couldn't see the cloud. Da Hyun immediately told her two friends about the incident. But her two friends seemed to ignore her story and were only busy playing with their cell phones. They thought that it was just Kim Da Hyun's feelings. Meanwhile, in his room, Soo Hyun was seen holding the duplicate cloud. He still didn't know what it was. His curiosity continued to grow. Soo Hyun wondered what would happen next after copying people. Then the system appeared and informed him that Kim Da Hyun could be printed. Without further ado, Soo Hyun immediately printed it out to find out what would happen. Slowly, the cloud wriggled. Not long after, the cloud took the form of Kim Da Hyun. Seeing this in front of him directly, Su Hyun was immediately dumbfounded. The form was exactly the same as his sister. Suddenly, Su Hyun immediately opened his door to confirm his sister's whereabouts. Su Hyun saw that Kim Da Hyun was with her friends in the living room. This made Su Hyun confused, then glanced at the figure behind him. Then Su Hyun closed the door of his room again. Su Hyun approached his sister's duplicate figure slowly. Then he held the bridge of her nose. Unexpectedly, her body could also be touched with his own hands. Soo Hyun finally realized that with this, he could duplicate someone. Soo Hyun was curious if this could be seen by others. Soo Hyun was worried about what would happen if this was discovered by others. Then the duplication cloud turned back into a card. Until now, Soo Hyun still felt confused about how to use cards like that. The next day at school, during recess, Su Hyun was still in his classroom. He rested his chin on the desk while daydreaming. Su Hyun was still thinking about yesterday's incident in his room. Su Hyun chuckled to himself because it turned out that the diamond card could only copy and print. He wondered why such abilities existed on diamond cards, because in his opinion, there was nothing that could be done after duplicating someone. Moreover, if his sister became two people, it would make Su Hyun doubly dizzy whereas initially Su Hyun was very excited when he received the diamond card. Not long after, Hyung Dong came suddenly in front of Su Hyun's dreamy face. Suddenly, Kim Su Hyun immediately screamed in shock. After that, Hyung Dong told him that they had a big problem. He explained that Gang Buk East High School started their movement. To take control of Gang Buk West High School, Han Jae-ha had sent his men. They are led by the fifth-ranked person in East Gangbuk High School named Park Jion. Hyung Dong told Su Hyun that Park Jion is a strong man who has a high reputation for crime. While his deputy is Kang do Yuk, who is the 13th rank in Gangbuk East High School. They were stronger people than Huang de Siong, who Su Hyun had defeated before. Hyung Dong said that the problem was that their West Gangbuk High School did not have such elite members. Hyung Dong was worried that they wouldn't be able to win if they were attacked by the East Gangbuk High School kids. Su Hyun became dumbfounded after hearing all of Hyung Dong's explanation just now. He bit his finger because he felt so panicked. Even though Su Hyun defeated Huang Daesong just because of luck, Su Hyun thought that if Han Jae Ha also participated in the fight, then he would die. Moreover, the cards that Su Hyun had were also only a few. Su Hyun thought hard about how to get more attack cards. It crossed his mind to go to the park and look for Sang Chiol to get another card. But on second thought, Su Hyun couldn't be sure of Sang Chiol's arrival. Su Hyun also couldn't be sure whether the quest would appear or not. Su Hyun went to the back of the schoolyard to be alone and contemplate. Thinking about all these things made Su Hyun so frustrated that he grabbed his own hair. What's more, he had very little time left. Su Hyun wondered how to become stronger in such a short time. At the same time, Gu Ha Jun suddenly appeared to Su Hyun while smoking his cigarette butt. Seeing Ha Jun's arrival, Su Hyun immediately thought of asking him for help. He thought Ha Jun might be able to help him with his training. Then Su Hyun gave Ha Jun a smile as he asked him for help. Before Su Hyun finished speaking, Ha Jun immediately rejected him outright. 
This made Su Hyun feel a little annoyed. Instantly, Su Hyun remembered something. Su Hyun immediately got up from his seat and stood next to Ha Jun while giving him a stern look. Because of Ha Jun's rejection, Su Hyun would use his own plan. On the other hand, in a rundown building that looked like an abandoned building, Kang Do Hyuk entered the building. He met one of his seniors, Park Jian. Park Jian was seen sitting on the body of a man who was already lifeless. The whole room was also filled with the bodies of the men he had killed. Kang Doyuk realized that the man was doing his research. Then Park Jian got up from his place. Park Jian already knew the reason Kang Doyuk came was to invite him to go finish off Gangbuk West High School. Kang Doyuk also confirmed it. Then Kang Doyuk immediately took the man's clothes to get ready. After that, they left at that moment. On the rooftop of the school, Su Hyun was seen confronting Gu Ha Jun. However, it was not the real Gu Ha Jun, but a duplicate cloud that resembled Gu Ha Jun. Su Hyun then launched his fist attack at the duplicate Ha Jun. His jab technique level increased. It made Su Hyun happy and excited. Although Su Hyun was initially disappointed that Gu Ha Jun wouldn't help him, but with this, he didn't need his help anymore. It was all thanks to the diamond card that could duplicate him. Su Hyun could now use Go Ha Jun as a training tool to increase experience points. In other words, a punching bag that Su Hyun could use as he pleased. Su Hyun continued to attack Ha Jun's duplicates relentlessly. By doing so, Su Hyun thought that he could become stronger. Su Hyun just realized that the power of the diamond card was very reliable. Notifications from the system kept popping up telling Su Hyun that his technique had improved. This made Su Hyun very happy. He could hear the sound of the level up tone clearly. The school bell rang, indicating it was time to go home for the students at Gangbuk Girls High School. There were three girls walking together while chatting. The beautiful woman in the middle is a popular student named Yang Soha. Meanwhile, in front of the Gangbuk Girls School gate, there was a group of men from Gangbuk East High School led by Kang Do Yuk. They were all staring at the female students walking out of the school. Kang Do Hyuk thought that the students from Gangbuk Girls High School were very sexy. Then one of his men asked Kang Do Hyuk about Park Jion. Kang Do Hyuk told him that Park Jion had left to take care of Gu Ha Jun, so Kang Do Hyuk himself will take care of Kim Soo Hyun. With great confidence, Kang Do Hyuk said that it was an easy matter while putting out the cigarette butt on his tongue. But his friend reminded Kang Do Hyuk that Kim Soo Hyun was the one who defeated Huang Dae Seong. But that didn't make Kang Do Hyuk feel scared at all. According to him, if Huang Dae Seong fought with his cunning self, then Huang Dae Seong would have been immediately taken to the ER. Then Kang Do Hyuk shifted his conversation and looked back at the students in front of them. There was a mischievous expression from Kang Do Hyuk when he looked at Yang So Ha, who was among her friends. The idea of doing something before directly facing Kim Soo Hyun came to his mind. On the other side, there was Kim Soo Hyun, who was walking with his two friends after school. Hyung Dong glanced at Soo Hyun, then he said that Soo Hyun looked more masculine today. Hyung Dong felt that Soo Hyun's energy was very unusual. He suspected that Kim Soo Hyun had been practicing a lot lately. Suddenly, there was a junior student who ran hurriedly towards Kim Soo Hyun. His face looked very panicked and scared. The junior student told him that there was a big problem, where Gangbuk East High School students had appeared in front of their school. Hearing this, Kim Soo Hyun and his two friends were immediately shocked together. The junior student informed that there were children being bullied by them. Kim Soo Hyun also felt that it should be handled by the police. According to him, they have no right to interfere. Kim Soo Hyun reasoned that they could be arrested and taken prisoner. Kim Soo Hyun looked like he was avoiding a fight with the men from Gangbuk East High School out of fear. But when the junior student told him that the victims were female students from Gangbuk High School, Kim Soo Hyun immediately changed his mind. Without thinking, Kim Soo Hyun and his two friends immediately prepared to fight. The three of them walked dashingly and very confidently. However, Huang Daesiong suddenly stood in front of him and blocked his way. The purpose of Huang Daesiong's arrival was to restore his reputation that had been destroyed by Kim Soo Hyun the last time they fought. Huang Daesiong invited Kim Soo Hyun to have another fight with him. Then Kim Soo Hyun told Hyung Dong and Yakuza to go first to help the students. 
while he would take care of Huang Daixiong. Huang Daixiong said that he was caught off guard by Gu Hajun's sudden arrival. Huang Daixiong could feel the difference in ability between them. But Kim Soo Hyun assured Huang Daixiong that this time Gu Hajun wouldn't come. Instantly, Huang Daixiong felt a little panicked seeing Kim Soo Hyun, who was very confident, in a narrow alley not far from the school. There was Kang Do Yuk and his friends surrounding the three girls from Gang Buk Girls High School. They forced the girls to play with them. The three girls looked very scared and were silent. Kang Do Yuk brought his face closer to Yang Soha while teasing her. When Kang Do Yuk wanted to touch Yang Soha, Hyung Dong suddenly came and stopped his lecherous act. Fortunately, he came at the right time. Suddenly, Kang Do Yuk's attention was immediately drawn to Hyung Dong. Kang Do Yuk's men told him that it was Lee Hyung Dong from Gangbuk West High School. Kang Do Yuk didn't think that Hyung Dong could dare to come to that place and disturb him. Then the group of men walked over to Hyung Dong to give him a lesson. Seeing how many of them there were, Hyung Dong felt scared. He felt unable to fight them all at once. But Hyung Dong tried to fight off his fear and immediately took a stance to prepare to attack them all. Immediately the men's faces changed. They looked so scared. Seeing this, Hyung Dong initially thought that the men were afraid of him. But it turned out that they were scared like that because they saw the figure of Yakuza behind Hyung Dong. They realized that Yakuza was the number two person from Gangbuk West High School. Moreover, Yakuza was the one who had fought against Kim Soo Hyun's running for four days and nights. The super rookie from the West, who was called the Lone Shark King. The three women looked mesmerized by the figure of Yakuza who came to save them. Yakuza walked up to them with a sharp look. He had his hands in his pockets as if he thought the men were easy opponents. They assumed that Yakuza was a psychopath. Because they could no longer stand to beat him up, the group of men finally ran over to Yakuza to attack him simultaneously. They were very confident that they could defeat him. Then Yakuza closed his eyes to take a stand. But right at the same time, Kim Soo Hyun came and greeted them all. Suddenly, they immediately stopped their actions and looked at Kim Soo Hyun with a very dumbfounded look. According to one of the men, Kim Soo Hyun looked taller than he thought. Previously, Kim Soo Hyun had defeated Huang Daixiong. Huang Daixiong's body was lying on the floor, and his face looked full of cuts and bruises. He didn't expect to lose to Kim Soo Hyun. Huang Daixiong realized that Kim Soo Hyun was very different from the last time they fought. Though initially Huang Daixiong thought he could win if he fought with him again. Huang Daixiong felt very curious how Kim Soo Hyun could be that strong in just a short time. Kim Soo Hyun walked up to all of them in the narrow alley. He walked very confidently while giving a very creepy look. Finally, what the men had been waiting for came to them. Then Kim Soo Hyun patted Yakuza's hand to take over the fight. Kang Do Hyuk stood casually while smoking the cigarette in his hand. He warned Kim Soo Hyun that he was stronger than Huang Dae Siong, who Kim Soo Hyun had defeated. Instantly, Kang Do Hyuk ordered his men to attack Kim Soo Hyun. Then, his men immediately attacked Kim Soo Hyun simultaneously. In the previous time, Kim Soo Hyun had managed to get some cards after leveling up when he fought against Gu Hajun's duplicate. As a result, all of his skill techniques have risen to level B. Kim Soo Hyun realized that at level B there would be additional effects. The name of the technique also changed. It was those techniques that Kim Soo Hyun relied on to fight against that group of men now. By using those techniques, Kim Soo Hyun was able to knock down his opponent so easily. Suddenly, they were all stunned to see Soo Hyun, who only did it in an instant. Instantly, the quest window popped up a notification. Kim Soo Hyun got a new mission to win the battle against the 13th ranked student of East Gangbuk High School, Kang Do Hyuk. Then Kim Soo Hyun walked over to Kang Do Hyuk. Soo Hyun told him that he had no desire to fight with him. Soo Hyun then told him to deliver a message to Han Jae Ha to come back and fight with him. Soo Hyun said it confidently as he licked the blood on his hands. With his innocent face, Kim Soo Hyun ordered the East Gangbuk students to call Han Jae Ha to come see him. Hearing Kim Soo Hyun's order angered the East Gangbuk students. Immediately, the East Gangbuk students who were very upset immediately attacked Kim Soo Hyun with his punch, straight used by the East Gangbuk students to attack Kim Soo Hyun. The attack hit Kim Soo Hyun right in the face, but Kim Soo Hyun didn't feel any pain after the attack. 
Then Kim Soo-hyun counterattacked the East Gangbuk student. Jab and straight were used by Kim Soo-hyun to attack the East Gangbuk student. Kim Soo-hyun's attack on the East Gangbuk students was so devastating that it made the East Gangbuk students feel pain. Seeing Kim Soo-hyun off guard, one of the East Gangbuk students attacked Kim Soo-hyun from behind. But Kim Soo-hyun had read the existence of the enemy behind him and immediately attacked the East Gangbuk student quickly. Kim Soo-hyun threw his punch. Kim Soo-hyun's punch did not hit the East Gangbuk student's wajak. But Kim Soo-hyun's punch made the East Gangbuk student become scared and speechless. Seeing Kim Soo-hyun's fight with East Gangbuk students made Yang Soha and his colleagues very impressed with him and praised Kim Soo-hyun's punches. Yang Soha and her partner only found out that Kim Soo-hyun was good at fighting after Kim Soo-hyun defeated the East Gangbuk students. Then, Kang Do-yuk responded and said that Kim Soo-hyun's strength cannot be underestimated. Yakuza seems to know Kang Do-yuk's skill level. Yakuza thinks that Kang Do-yuk's skill level is on the same level as Huang dae -seong. Instantly, Huang dae -seong remembered the conversation with Kang Do-hyuk, who talked about Kim Soo-hyun's strength. Huang dae -seong told Kang Do-hyuk that Kim Soo-hyun's strength was weaker than Kang Do-hyuk's strength. Huang dae -seong explained to Kang Do-hyuk that he was very confident in facing Kim Soo-hyun again, and Huang dae -seong was sure he would win. According to Huang dae -seong, Kim Soo-hyun's ability is not that great. Kim Soo-hyun is just a loser who can continue to live thanks to the help of others. Huang dae -seong added that Kang Do-yuk should stay focused and not let his guard down when facing Kim Soo-hyun. Huang dae -seong told Kang Do-yuk that he could lose to Kim Soo-hyun because of his carelessness. But Huang dae was sure that Kang do Hyuk would not lose even if he took careless actions. Hearing Huang dae explanation made Kang do Hyuk feel blushed and made him even more confident to defeat Kim Soo-hyun because he thought Kim Soo-hyun was not stronger than him. Back to the battle, it seems that Kim Soo-hyun and Kang do Hyuk are currently fighting. It seems that Kang do Hyun was lulled by Huang dae explanation that Kim Soo-hyun was weak. But instead, Kang do Yuk became the victim of Kim Soo-hyun. Kang do Yuk really didn't expect to be defeated easily by Kim Soo-hyun. He felt lied to by Huang dae -seong's words. Kim Soo-hyun continued to launch attack after attack at Kang do Yuk. Kang do Yuk looked helpless against Kim Soo-hyun's ability. Kang do Yuk didn't expect that Kim Soo-hyun could fly. Then, in his heart, Kang do Yuk said that Kim Soo-hyun's ability was very great. Kim Soo-hyun continued to attack Kang do Yuk until his punch hit Kang do Yuk's face, causing Kang do Yuk to lose embarrassingly. After defeating Kang do Yuk, Kim Soo-hyun silently said that this was a serious situation because he didn't like fighting in front of women. Seeing Kim Soo-hyun's fight made Yang Soha and her partner very surprised. Yang Soha and her partner thought Kim Soo-hyun was crazy, but thanks to Kim Soo-hyun, they were saved. Yang Soha and her partner thanked Kim Soo-hyun for his help, then they were about to go home. When Kim Soo-hyun and his partner were about to leave, suddenly Yang Soha called Kim Soo-hyun and Yang Soha said that she asked for Kim Soo-hyun's number. Kim Soo-hyun was surprised by Yang Soha's request, then from behind Yang Soha's colleagues said that she was crazy. Yang Soha's colleagues told Yang Soha that it was rumored that Kim Soo-hyun liked to kidnap girls and then hold them hostage. Yang Soha's colleagues added that Kim Soo-hyun was a very bad man, and Yang Soha should have heard the rumors about Kim Soo-hyun. Hearing the words of her colleague, Yang Soha then explained to her colleague that she already knew about Kim Soo-hyun's gossip, only that she was grateful to Kim Soo-hyun for helping her. Kim Soo-hyun looked confused and didn't understand, but Kim Soo-hyun's partner told Kim Soo-hyun not to sell out and just say what Kim Soo-hyun said. Suddenly, Kang do Yuk spoke that they would still die. Hearing those words, Yakuza immediately responded by stepping on Kang do Yuk's body, who was lying weak, and said what Kang do Yuk meant. Then Kang do Yuk explained to Yakuza about Park Jian, the fifth ranked person from East Gangbuk High School. Kang do Yuk told Yakuza that Park Jian would be here soon, and he was currently finishing off Gu Hajun. In another place, Gu Hajun was seen doing a little exercise. Suddenly, Park Jian came to see Gu Hajun. Seeing Park Jian's challenge, Gu Hajun immediately ordered Park Jian to leave. But Park Jian said that he had been ordered by Han Jeha to meet Gu Hajun, and Han Jeha ordered him to finish off Gu Hajun. 
Park Jian added that after he defeated Gu Hajun, the next target was Kim Soo Hyun. Hearing Park Jian's words, Gu Hajun was very disgusted and immediately attacked Park Jian quickly. Gu Hajun's crushing blow hit Park Jian right in the face, which made Park Jian fall down and helpless. Park Jian was very surprised when he found out the true power of Gu Hajun. Then Gu Hajun ordered Park Jian to tell Han Jae Ha that Kim Soo Hyun's members would come to his place. When he got home, Kim Soo Hyun looked happy because he had beaten two people in one day. Since Kim Soo Hyun had defeated two people in one day, he thought that maybe this time he could defeat Han Jae Ha. But before he could defeat Han Jae Ha, Kim Soo Hyun thought that Han Jae Ha's men were strong. Kim Soo Hyun wondered if he could defeat them all by himself, so he thought that he should equalize their numbers. Before Kim Soo Hyun will face Han Jae Ha, Kim So Hyun must complete his recruits first. Because until now, Yakuza, Gu Ha Jun, and Lee Hyun Dong have joined, and Kim Soo Hyun must find one more person to recruit. Kim So Hyun has had several visions, and she is a little anxious about whether there is anyone that Kim So Hyun can trust. Then Kim So Hyun thought of calling the duplication cloud. Kim So Hyun ordered the blue cloud to change into human form. Then the duplication cloud appeared in front of Kim So Hyun. Kim So Hyun seemed impressed by the change in the blue cloud, but Kim So Hyun wondered why it had to turn into Kim Da Yoon. Seeing the blue cloud change into Kim Do Yoon, Santok made Kim So Hyun almost hit him. Then Kim So Hyun invited the duplication cloud to join his members. Then Kim So Hyun's members were complete. Because Kim So Hyun has completed his members, Kim So Hyun gets a gold card as a reward for him. The gold card is very useful for Kim So Hyun, because with this gold card, Kim So Hyun can develop his members. Kim Soo Hyun was still stunned while staring at his system layer. He didn't expect to be able to develop members. Kim Soo Hyun was busy fiddling with the system to find a way to develop them. Then the system explained that the way to develop members could only be done with cards. Kim Soo Hyun will get the development card through the development quest. Seeing this, Kim Soo Hyun thought that the development quest was similar to a sub-quest. It means that from now on, Soo Hyun must wait for the development quest. Kim Soo Hyun guessed that the quest would be easier than the sub-quest. But now Kim Soo Hyun will open the card he just got earlier. Soo Hyun also still hadn't opened the card he got from the battle against Kang Do Hyuk. Without further ado, Kim Soo Hyun ordered the system to open the card. Kim Soo Hyun got the Weaving Fist Attack card. Because he was curious, Kim Soo Hyun immediately tried the weaving technique. Kim Soo Hyun looked very agile using the technique. Not long after that, the system displayed the sub-quest. Kim Soo Hyun was required to complete another boxing combo by obtaining the Hook Technique Attack card. He just realized that there was a sub-quest like this. Then Kim Soo Hyun summoned the master of cards that he had not used for a long time. It was time to sort the cards Soo Hyun had. He didn't think he would use those cards at all. Then Kim Soo Hyun combined the bronze cards. But apparently, it wasn't what he expected. Kim Soo Hyun seemed dissatisfied with the two silver cards in his hand from combining four bronze cards. He instantly realized that it wasn't possible with just one try. It wasn't easy for him. Kim Soo Hyun also realized that he had never tried to separate the cards. It crossed his mind to try again since he had many silver cards. But Kim Soo Hyun was still hesitant about it while holding the master of cards in his hand. The next day in class. On the way home from school, they held an assembly to discuss the unification of Gangbuk. The juniors bowed before Kim Soo Hyun and Yakuza. They all congratulated their two seniors for showing their strength to Gangbuk East High School. Hyung Dong stood in front of the class while showing the presentation slides this time. Young Dong explained that the area managed by Gangbuk East High School now belongs to them because of Kang Do Hyuk's defeat. Kang Do Hyuk had three high schools that he managed Seo Jin High School, Do Jin High School, and Jo Gang High School. Now those schools will be under Kim Soo Hyun's control. But Kim Soo Hyun was still hesitant about it. He was worried that Han Jae Ha would come to attack them because his territory was taken away. But Hyung Dong said that they would be able to relax in the future. Hyung Dong told them that he had contacted Gangbuk South High School separately. Kim Soo Hyun suddenly wondered what he meant by that. 
At a karaoke place, there was one of the men who informed Han Jeha that Jeon and Kang do had lost. He also explained that the schools managed by Kang do would also change hands. Hearing the news, Han Jeha remained relaxed while smoking his cigarette butt. Then Han Jeha immediately got ready to go there. But at the same time, a man suddenly arrived who looked very panicked. He told Han Jeha that Gangbuk South High School started to move. The South Gangbuk High School kids already knew that they had been defeated by Kim Soo-hyun. Moreover, Kang Seok himself was going to start the war. Therefore, they will be attacked from the west and south. Hearing the news made Han Jeha so emotional that he let out profanity. Han Jeha immediately gave orders to his men to send a representative to West Gangbuk. No need to fight, just enough to check. After all, Han Jeha still thinks that Kim Soo Hyun is a weak person. Han Jeha felt that he could defeat Soo Hyun at any time. But before that, Han Jeha will take care of Kang Suk. You can see Han Jeha's face full of anger while crushing the cigarette in his hand. On the other hand, Kim Soo Hyun was seen walking with Hyung Dong. Soo Hyun only realized after being told everything by Hyung Dong. Soo Hyun felt relieved. He still has time to get stronger with quests and more training to prepare to fight Han Jae Ha. Then Hyung Dong suggested to Soo Hyun to strengthen their organization. Soo Hyun did not understand what Hyung Dong meant. Hyung Dong explained to Soo Hyun that this time Soo Hyun had to increase his strength, because while doing that, problems might arise. Young Dong added that if the three schools previously managed by Kang do Yuk had changed hands, but it was still not certain that the school students would submit to Su Hyun, maybe they would try to bring Su Hyun down. Young Dong wanted Su Hyun to discipline them directly. Hearing Young Dong's explanation, Su Hyun seemed to agree with Young Dong's opinion. Su Hyun got a profitable quest so that Su Hyun could develop others. Then Su Hyun wanted to start from Seojin High School. Suddenly, Yang Soha appeared in front of them. Soo Hyun looked surprised that Yang Soha could be here. Yang Soha explained to Soo Hyun that she had an appointment with Da Hyun today. Then Soo Hyun responded to Yang Soha well. Soo Hyun also reminded Yang Soha not to go home too late. Immediately, Yang Soha, with a little embarrassment, asked Soo Hyun why Soo Hyun didn't reply to her chat. Soo Hyun told Yang Soha that he would reply to her chat. Then Soo Hyun and Hyung Dong left Yang Soha. Yang Soha didn't seem to believe that she was talking to Soo Hyun. Seen from another angle, Da Hyun thought Su Hyun had been insolent for making Yang Soha become like that. Elsewhere, Seo Jin high school students were gathering on the mountain while eating together. They were talking about Kang Do Yuk's defeat to Su Hyun, so from now on they must obey Gangbuk West High School. But it seems that Zhang Jin Su, who is the president of Seo Jin High School, will not submit to Su Hyun. Zhang Jin Su told his colleagues that whatever will happen, they must remain obedient and submit to Han Jae-ha. Zhang Jin-soo added that he would kill Su hyun if Su hyun came, and Zhang Jin-soo would also kill his colleagues if they still chose to submit to Su hyun Suddenly, Su hyun and Hyung dong came to meet Seo Jin's students. Breathing heavily, Su hyun was very surprised that Seo Jin's headquarters was on a mountain. Zhang Jin-soo, who realized Su hyuns arrival, immediately attacked him, but Su hyun quickly avoided Zhang Jin-soo's attack. Hyung Dong was very surprised at Jiang Jin Su's treatment, because Jiang Jin Su was still below Su Hyun. Su Hyun then counterattacked Jiang Jin Su using the hook technique. Su Hyun looked surprised by his hook technique. Su Hyun thought this hook technique was quite strong. Instantly, Su Hyun remembered when she got the hook card. She had tried it several times until Su Hyun sacrificed the high ability card. Now Su Hyun didn't need that ability, but it was good for her because this way the quest was completed and Su Hyun could get a fist combo reward. Then we see Su Hyun continue to attack Jiang Jin Su. Jiang Jin Su seems unable to keep up with Su Hyun's strength. Su Hyun used a Dempe roll to attack Jiang Jin Su. Jiang Jin Su was helpless against Su Hyun's attacks. Dempsey roll technique used by Su Hyun. Jiang Jin Su was finally defeated easily by Su Hyun. Seijin high school students told Su Hyun that they had decided to follow Su Hyun from the beginning, and only Jiang Jin Su opposed their decision. With this result, Su Hyun has successfully disciplined Seoji High School. Then Su Hyun and Hyung Dong went to the next high school. Su Hyun came to Dojin High School. Immediately, Su Hyun had succeeded in disciplining Dojin High School. Then Dojin High School students thanked West Gangbuk High School for paying attention to Dojin High School. 
because they were tired of the power of East Gangbuk High School. Then Su Hyun and Hyung Dong went to Jogang High School, where Su Hyun successfully disciplined Jogang High School. Jogang vocational school students told Su Hyun that they would gladly submit to Gangbuk West High School, but they hoped that the monthly fee would not be raised. Su Hyun responded well to what SM Jogang wanted. Su Hyun told SM Jogang that Gangbuk West High School would not ask for money. Su Hyun's mission has been completed. From now on, Su Hyun can start development. When he was at school, Su Hyun looked confused. Even though Su Hyun had gotten a development card because Su Hyun still didn't know who the card would be used on. Then Su Hyun thought that the card would be used on Gu Ha Jun so that Gu Ha Jun would not be defeated. But Su Hyun still doubted if he could control Gu Ha Jun. Then Su Hyun thought about using it on Lee Hyun Dung, but Su Hyun didn't think that was a good option. Su Hyun thought that right now Yakuza was the weakest, and Su Hyun should give Yakua the strength to protect himself. Su Hyun had decided to use all the development cards on Yakuza, and Su Hyun bet them all on Yakuza. As the development card was duplicated, Yakuza was very surprised and said that the effect of this was great for him. Su Hyun has managed to control the three high schools under them, which means that there is no longer need to worry about internal problems. But there was one thing that Su Hyun was curious about. The president of North Gangbuk High School. Su Hyun didn't know what the chairman of North Gangbuk High School looked like. Even though Su Hyun knew about Han Jae-ha and Kang Seok, he still had to know information about the chairman of North Gangbuk High School to be prepared. Then Hyung Dong told Su Hyun that he did not have accurate information, but usually the so-called gang leader had a bad past. However, Hyung Dong did not find any information about the chairman of Gangbuk North High School, only that Hyung Dong heard rumors that the chairman of Gangbuk North High School was very strong. Then Su Hyun and Yakuza left Hyung Dong because they had to get ready for class. Hyung Dong seemed to be thinking about something, although now their condition was safe. But how long would Su Hyun have to step in alone? And again in the future, they would get more areas so Su Hyun could not always step in alone at times like that. Therefore, Hyung Dong thought that they needed someone who could focus on taking care of internal matters. But Hyun Dong felt a little confused as to who they could entrust this internal authority to, and plus everyone had seen Su Hyun as trash. Hyung Dong immediately thought of one person they could trust to maintain their internal authority. Hyung Dong thought that there was a woman who was suitable for Su Hyun. Cherin was seen walking with her friend. Yun Dong had a plan to unite Su Hyun with Cherin. Then Hyung Dong invited Su Hyun and Cherin to go to Gangbuk Pool Villa. But Cherin was very angry because why suddenly she had to meet them, and Cherin thought that they must have planned something. Seeing Cherin's response to Hyun Dong, Su Hyun looked upset and thought Cherin had gone too far to slap Hyun Dong just because he was invited to play together.